Hi there folks and welcome back to the Gamer's Grotto. Today we're going to be playing some of The Bunker. The Bunker is an older uh, FMV game. I believe it was released in like 2016, 2017, something like that. Uh, it's made by Wales Interactive. I've kind of covered all of Wales Interactive's FMV games on my channel. I haven't covered The Bunker for some strange reason, so we're going to do that today. Anyway, The Bunker is an FMV game, as I said. Multiple choice, multiple endings. Um, it is a bit different than the other ones in the sense that it's more of a Gabriel Knight, uh, Phantasmagoria style to it, where you actually walk around the character. And so it's, it's not just a simple picking and choosing what to say. There's a lot more to it, um, which is really cool. Um, it is filmed in an actual bunker in, uh, I believe it's Wales. I can't remember exactly where the bunker is. I'd have to look it up, but it's filmed in an actual bunker that is used as a museum that anybody can go to and anybody can go through and everything like that. It's a museum bunker. Uh, it was an actual Cold War bunker, uh, that's been turned into a museum. Anyway, uh, so we're going to hop right into this right now with this horror thriller game. The Bunker. We're playing it on the PS5 today. This is actually a PS4 game, but it's backwards compatible with the PS5. So we're going to be hopping right into this right now. Let's explore The Bunker on PS5.
You'd probably be alone, Mom. Still be here. Always be here. Haven't you forgot to say it again? As long as I stick to the routine, I'll be safe. As long as I always be here. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. As long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> what time is it? We do time, Mum. Yes. By the time you're behind another trunk, I think you might be watching. Mum. I love you, Joe. I'll be here. I keep you safe, I promise. No. 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 So what I've gathered from uh, playing this game in the past is John has been sheltered his whole life since he was a baby. Um, he doesn't know the outside world because all he knows is the bunker. And his mother kind of kept him sheltered from everyone and everything. So he's kind of become very slow and sort of mentally challenged because of that. Um, and he, so, yeah, he's he's very, very slow and... and not understanding of how the world works, that kind of stuff. Um, he is played by, I can't remember the actor's name, but he is played by an actor who was in the Lord of the Rings movies. And I think also The Hobbit. He was he he was one of The Hobbits. I don't remember which one, but he was in those movies. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit of trivia there. Vitamin B level is low. Mum said I have to keep my vitamin B levels up. I wonder if my radiation level is safe. Radiation is just over 70 mR. That's acceptable.
bunker radiation is normal. Good. Hmm. I need to choose dinner. Boring old beans. Again. So that makes 27 years. Three months and 14 days of food left. to read to mum. Cast thy bread upon the running waters, for after a long time thou shalt find it again. Give a portion to seven and also to eight, and thou knowest what evil should be upon this earth. If the cloud be full, they will pour out rain upon the earth. If the tree fall the, to the south or the north, in that place, soever it shall fall, there shall it be. So, the beginning of this game is rather slow. I mean, you're just doing a day-to-day -day routine that your mother taught you, but you'll see the game quickly picks up. Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing. Twenty-seven years, three months, and thirteen days left. We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats where I had. Radiation is over 80 MR.
I need to find that manual. This has never happened before. My old diary. Today it is my birthday and I have had extra peaches, my favourite, and there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy it's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he is a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights, so that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. My underwear drawer. The manual. Manual reads, in the event of server failure, one, make announcement that mains power is being shut down for maintenance, two, find fuse box located in storage room level two, and identify damaged fuses. 3. Locate replacement fuses. 4. Shut off mains power. Wait 10 seconds. 5. Replace damaged fuses. 6. Switch mains power back on. 7. Perform a systems check. Find the fuse box level 2. Find the fuse box level 2. Mum. I need to find the fuse box on level 2. Just my locker. I'm not sure I can do this.
my old drawings. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it that. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make fourteen. And bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, rickets. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. Personal Log, Sam Collins. Date, December 9th, 1996. It's going to be fine. Okay, so maybe fine isn't the right word. But we have enough supplies to make it through, I'm sure of it. If we can just keep it together and be sensible with the rations, then we can make it. Sure, none of us are going to get fat down here. 
but I could use losing a few pounds anyway. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you get sent to this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. A group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Find out where they were working, what they've had contact with, and what they've been eating. We need a source. Let's go, Brandon. It's all right. Come here, love. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know if you stay uh, in the room. Who's Brandon? <laughs> I don't like it here. Made by F.W. Hurley. Number one, worrying bat brown residue around bulkhead seals. B. Number 7.1. B. Number 7.4-9. And B. Number 7.12. Don't know what to do about this one. Rubber compound shouldn't be perishing yet. Indicates corrosion from something it's in contact with. Unless the cowboys use cottage cheese instead of VX compound, which, given how the rest of this place is built, wouldn't be unlikely. Response by C. Bishop. Nothing we can do. No replacement seals. Made by F.W. Hurley. Number two rear bulkhead beam next to recycling unit in A number 15 showed stress fracturing through paint surface. Two rivets loose wielded, but looks like similar progressing in roof beams two and three 
along adjacent wall. PJ says, not major structural issue. But if it flexes anymore, it might spring a seal loose and we could be in rad trouble. Best we can do is foam sealant, but we're running low. Or seal off number A5, A15 completely. Response by C. Bishop. Gone through drawings with PJ and Frank. Can't waste foam. Told Frank to install additional Geiger in A number 15, so we have warning of rad breach. Made by WFW Hurley. Number 3. Unexpected moisture in C number 12. PJ says might be condensation from the filter system. But one of the purifier lines runs right behind that wall. Worried that we might have a leak in the water system. Request permission to shut down the system and take off the wall panels between C number 12 and C number 13 to look into it. Hopefully you can fix it that way. Trouble is, if there's a leak higher up, we can't get in to examine it because the ceiling there is a solid weld. Response by C. Bishop. Filter spec sheet says condensation can be caused by rapid warming and cooling of water of filter system. No cause for concern. Attention, the mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. I don't like it here. An empty locker. I don't like it here. AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Request send to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended.
Maybe he's just trying not to upset everyone. They should be upset. They built this place in six weeks. Six weeks! How could anyone expect it to be safe? There must be a leak. There must be. Mr. Bishop says I that it's... I know what he says. He doesn't want everyone to panic. Silly old Vera having another one of her turn... <coughs> Well, well, let's say, let's say for, example, for example, the hit on Reading was Redding one megaton. megaton. That would mean that would we have, have this radius, radius. Only, only halfway, halfway to Basingstoke. Basingstoke. Now, maybe, now that maybe that looks that small, small, but that's, but that's around 100,000 100, fatalities. fatalities. Maybe 80,000 80, injuries from the blast, blast and the fireball. fireball. That's, that's just to start with. Prevailing, prevailing wind, wind direction, direction here is northeast. northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely likely to drift drift all the way out past Cambridge, past past Norwich Norwich even, out to sea. sea. The total number of casualties? casualties? Unimaginable. Mm -hmm. And that's one one bomb. bomb. I should turn the power off first. Locate replacement fuse. Here's the replacement. damaged views. I can switch the power back on now.
that sound from below. It, it wasn't there before. Please be okay, please be okay. No, no, no. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Sir Spankings, shut up. <laughs> I need to Smart ass. ass. Before I can go to level four. I enjoy your humor a lot, actually. <laughs> it's it's fun. <laughs> Date, 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday a.m., vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday. Also cough with occasional blood. Intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest, temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees blood present in feces. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. Plan. Sick base day. White blood count test. Monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams. If you don't shut up. Per day, I'm gonna days. kiss your dad on the lips. Possible DTPA course. Notes taken by Evelyn Jones. Something bad happened here. It's locked. The map lights up if there's a leak. How was your day? My day? Uneventful. Just, uh, figured I'd do a stream, and I've covered every other Wales Interactive FMV game but, uh, The Bunker. Which is surprising, considering it's, like, the first Wales Interactive FMV game I've ever, uh, owned. It's a good thriller horror game. Uh, I'm trying to remember where that, that, uh, suit is that I'm supposed to be getting...
Yeah, because I recall I can't go down those stairs until I uh, have my EVA suit on. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we can't go down here yet because of the radiation. Okay, maybe we can go down here. I, that doesn't make any sense, because the radiation is down here, I think. Huh. Alright, maybe it's not down here. Maybe it's the next level. the story here are you the player hacked into the camera system watching this guy on the toilet <laughs> the guy on the toilet uh no so i'm playing as the the character that i'm walking around and opening drawers of and everything like that there is no camera it's uh, that's who i'm playing as it's an fmv game uh that deals with uh a guy who was sheltered in a bunker, a Cold War bunker, for most of his life. And um, he is trying to survive in it uh, with everybody else. All of his family and friends all have died in the bunker. They're, nobody's alive. It's just him. Um, and some have escaped and, and, and whatnot. And uh, it's just kind of, he recount, recounts his life in the bunker as a young kid um, as well. There's uh, some horror elements. I don't want to spoil too much of it, but uh, suffice it to say, it's, you play a guy who spent his entire life since childhood in a, in a Cold War bunker. Drew Lock. You can be right at the front with the tanks. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms... Can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. We don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from or how it will spread. We have no cause. We have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. So get yourself together and fix this. Do you understand me? What's that? Cooling system. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bishop. I'm, I'm just on edge. This place, it's full of ghosts.
in the event of a nuclear radiation the leak. Cooling system sound like a child hiding under the war table. <laughs> it's it's one of those new models. <laughs> it's it's the ones that sound like children. You know those ones. I I don't know. <laughs> In the event of a nuclear radiation leak, the following items are required for complete protection. Checklist of components, protective clothing, NBC suit meets NFPA 1984, including gloves, boots, hood, respiratory equipment, gas mask, SCBA air purifying respirators, radiation detection Geiger counter model 060305, battery powered. Protection provided. Highest available level of respiratory, skin, and eye protection from solid, liquid, nuclear, and gaseous chemicals. Ensure suit integrity has not been compromised by wear and tear, rips, or puncture before use. Ensure all zips and fastenings are sealed before entering contaminated area. It's locked. Uh, what gave it away, sir? The fact that it doesn't have a handle? Yeah. Lock better be made out of pure lead. I I don't remember that the rate. I I always seem to recall that the radiation suit was in his closet. For some reason, it's in here. Oh well, now we can uh, now we can go into the room that's having the radiation issue. All right, John, come on, put on the suit. We gotta go down and check out the radiation. That's kind of, you know, a little bit of a deal here. We gotta go down there, fix it, you know, put on the mask, get it over with. Yeah, don't take your time or anything. It's not like it's a hurry. So just as an FYI, because I don't know if you joined late, the actor who is playing the lead character that I am playing as in this is actually uh, from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movie. He, he was one of the Hobbits. I don't remember the actor's name, but he's, he's from those films. Got a license for the Geiger oh. counter. Oh, I totally have a license for the Geiger counter, mate. I just don't have it on me, you know. And I, I, I you know, I may have made the license myself on a little bit of paper. Just saying. I love how this is filmed. I'm not gonna lie. There is no blue screen used in this entire game. This was all actually filmed inside of an actual bunker that is, uh, it's from, it, it, it's a bunker in England that, a Cold War bunker in England that is a, now a museum. So all of this was filmed inside of that bunker and uh, it, it's really impressive. It's, it's a really impressive game in that sense. Filtration unit check, day 18th of October 95, 1611, check by PJT. Main filtration unit running okay, cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure, readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well, I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. 
We're chewing through them a lot faster than Speck says, due to higher outdoor rad than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. PJ. Accident report, date 12th of August 92, 1910, filed by F. Hurley. Ran scheduled test of backup filtration unit. Rad levels way too high on output. Over 500 rem, red lights across the board. Thought it was a duff filter, tried a new one, same. Sacrificed a Geiger, stuck it on a rod and ran it round inside the casing. We've got contaminated dust clogging the lower X duct. God knows how it got in. Might be a hairline, or maybe the filter just couldn't cope with the levels being so much higher than we expected. This is really, really bad. Without taking this apart, cleaning, reseeing, and decontaminating the whole thing, it's useless. We have no backup air filtration system. But I can't see how we can do it. We don't have a clean space to do this in. Bishop just shrugs pretty much. Keep it quiet, Frank. You only worry people. For fuck's sake. What else isn't he telling us? Right, I should <laughs> I should probably turn that steam off before I go through there. <laughs> Okay, that filter is definitely brand new. So it's got to be the other one that's damaged. So we'll take that one out and replace it, and hopefully the radiation levels will go down to not fatal levels. Ah! 
Oh yeah, that one's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's replace that one. The spare filters. I need to get rid of this damaged filter first. I think I could use these to fix the unit. Right, yeah, I gotta get rid of the damage filter, so we put it in here. Forgot about that. The spare filters. to put an air filter on your mask before handling the irradiate air filter. Never mind. <laughs> this is supposed to happen. He's he ends up getting Ow. That doesn't seem not painful. My question is, why would you have the ladder so precariously, um, I, <sighs> if I was climbing up that, and that ladder was in that position, I would have probably moved it or something, just, just a thought, uh, not, not carelessly stood on it like an idiot, but, you know, that's me. Come on, you can do it! I have faith in you! You're a pussy. Come on, show us how bad it is. I already know how bad it is. <laughs> he, he literally broke his arm. Yeah. Do 
Dude, wipe the spit from your mouth. Ain't nobody want to see that. <laughs> He's a spit actor. also break his arm. That's so gross. <laughs> Why would you zoom in on that? His fucking bone is just like falling out. All right, are you, are, you, are you done? Can we concentrate on trying to fix your arm now? Dude snorting up some fucking air. All right. You're pushing it back down. Is that really what we're doing right now? Oh, how spiffy. Ugh. Vomiting, bleeding, diarrhea, liver failure, it's got to be. It can't be radiation sickness. Look, why are his bones black? This place probably leaks like a sieve. It was built by the lowest bidder. No. Well, from my understanding, it's all the tea he's drank, right? I don't know. That's just a spit. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. That's just my assumption. Is that uh, ever since he was a little boy, he drank a lot of tea. And it's made all his bones a little bit dark now, isn't it? I thought there'd be a real war. You know, Bishop said that we'll be safe here, but honestly, George, do you believe him? I'm sorry. So just FYI, that is his mother. That woman who is mixing the, the, the one who was just talking to the bald dude. That is your character's mother. And the little boy is your character. This is a flashback, obviously. keep on top of the stop. We can't have... What is it? Nothing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oi, hello there, dearie. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna spit vomit and blood all over you.
boy, you're in shit now. What did you do? Radiation seeping through. setting the bone and wrap in dirty bandages medicine 100 <laughs> it's so true but then again okay so uh let me explain something here though um it, it, it makes sense if you understand what's going on here so this kid this boy uh, that i'm playing as he was sheltered by his mother his entire life he was told um if you watch from the beginning he was told to constantly stay in his room, to not so associate himself with anybody else who lived in the bunker. He was only to listen to his mother and nothing else. So he never educated himself, ever, on anything. Um, and so now he's a grown man, his mother is dead, and shit's going on in this bunker, and now suddenly he has to learn everything. And so that's the whole point of this. Uh, what the actor is trying to convey is that he is dumb. He's dumb as a post. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know how to survive because he was sheltered his entire life by his mother. That door sealed shut immediately. For Christ's sake, Margaret. Keep your little shit in his quarters before he explores the wrong place and gets us all killed. Seal that door immediately! But yeah, I think at the ending of this uh, playthrough, I'm going to do the full playthrough, obviously. This is not going to be a multi-part. I'm going to do the whole game. Uh, at the ending of this, I'm going to end the description. I'm going to put in the link for the actual bunker in case anybody wants to uh, visit it in real life. Because it is an actual museum that this is filmed in. Uh, it's, a, it's a Cold War bunker that's been turned into a museum. So uh, I'll put the link uh, of the actual website for this bunker in the description. PJ, please put the Oxytanks back in the cupboard and lock it when you're done with the weld. Don't need Bishop on my back about this as well. Be sparing with fuel. We'll need to cut ourselves out again someday, God willing. This is overkill and a waste of Oxy, but we'll keep him happy. Well, if happy is something he's capable of. Frank. Did he seriously just try that? I mean... <laughs> okay, yeah. Because we know, yeah, 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 that's gonna do a lot. He's very smart. I, I'm very impressed. I don't know how he survived this long on his own, to be honest. 
Because his mother died like ages ago. Like, I, I'm honestly surprised he survived this long, given his lack of knowledge of anything. Cyber counter only says 3.6 Rentgen. Not great, not terrible. What is this, MR? Sulu? Oh my. Hi there, Steve. Stu. <laughs> Steve, Stu, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what is this Mr. Sulu? What do you mean? This is not Mr. Sulu? It, could you... Game, but I haven't played it. It's good. It's a good game. It, it's, it's reminiscent of the classic uh, FMV games. You know, you know how Wales has lately just done a uh, video with dialogue choices? This is not it's that. Limited run games release a couple of years ago. Yeah, so th this was not, this is not those style of Wales Interactive games where you just choose what you want your character to say. This is more so in tune with Gabriel Knight, Phantasmagoria, those kind of FMV Sierra games where you have to guide your character around. Hours too. <laughs> he finished 12th hour. I'm pretty sure, or at least he's close to anyway. But yeah, no. You saw. I'm assuming your comment was related to what I uh, what I said to George Takei earlier on. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I didn't like his comment uh, on on you know. Well, we can all go without cheap gas and food. I'm like, no. Maybe if we're rich like you, like. We could all bend a tiny bit. I'm like, no, we can't. Sh shut up. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go back into this now. <laughs> Okay, so um, that was a flashback of uh, a guy trying to kill my character and his mother. Um, so no, I can't shoot my mother. I don't know why would why I would want to shoot my mother. <laughs> just age. Yes, uh, he's experiencing. It's, it's a flashback. Yeah. What was that, Mister Sir Spankums? Let them eat cake. <laughs> oh my. They need to eat cake. take some proper readings from the RA14 sensors. They show we have a range of 700 to 1,000 rads for anyone exposed to the atmosphere. What, what does that mean? Well, anything over 200 rads can be fatal. No. How long before it's safe to go back up? Our best guess, 20 to 30 years. Yes. Sam? Can we last that long? Do we have enough food? Yes, you... Y yes, it'll, it'll be all right. We may have to ration a little, but it'll be all right. Mom? It's all right, darling. If 
Everything's going to be fine. So just some quick info here, since Stu just joined uh, the stream, so I'll, I'll repeat this again. Uh, two things. Uh, the This game is actually filmed in a real bunker. Uh, it's filmed in a museum bunker, Cold, museum Cold War bunker uh, in England. And so, yeah, so you can actually visit the bunker that this game was filmed in. And you can tour the entire bunker. At the end of this game, uh, this I'm going to be live streaming this entirely all the way through. I'm not going to do it in parts because it's not terribly long. Um, at the end, in the description, I will put a link to the website of the actual bunker that was used. So in case at some point any of you want to go on a trip and experience this bunker for yourself, you'll be able to. Um, also... The actor who plays the grown version of that boy is uh, an actor who is best known for being in The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. He uh, ended up playing one of the Hobbit characters. I don't know exactly which character he played, and I don't remember the actor's name. But, uh, yeah, he's from those movies. So he's, he's kind of well-known. He's a Hollywood actor. And honestly, he fits this role really well. Because he's supposed to be playing a really stupid uh, grown man who is so sheltered his entire life that he doesn't know what the skinny hell he's doing. Skinny children taste the best. Oh yes, skinny children are amazing. a good job here how he he uh tries to open the hatch with only one arm I, I i thought he did a good job here conveying this His Stu, this isn't a Mel Brooks movie. What are you talking about? His Schwanz? What do you think this is? A Mel Brooks movie? Oi, mate, just let go of the ladder. Fall, fall to your death, mate. Just let go of the ladder. You've only got one arm anyway. Might as well just end it right now. There you go, good boy. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I think... I, I think I killed him. Maybe? Or did I survive? I don't know. I didn't click that in time. I probably killed him. Yeah, I totally killed him. <laughs> Hatch. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't click that in time. Ah! Ah! 
Had senior Spankums would have used his schwanz. I, I love how I, <laughs> I love how my uh, automated voice calls him Senior Spankums. If he could stop spanking it for a minute. Right. Exactly. To get a better performance out of the actor, we had to break his arm for real. <laughs> He just shows up in the audition and they smash his arm with a hammer. <laughs> They're like, well, hey, we need that for the row. <laughs> we, ne we totally need that for your character, mate. <laughs> we'll pay for the hospital bill afterwards. That's what they do in Russian films. Your character, this need to be a very broken arm. We going to break with sledgehammer. You don't mind, right? Tis fine, it's okay. You get good arm afterwards. We make robot arm for you. Very, very nice. Swastika pocket knife. Why was he pulling on that anyway? <laughs> it he could have just pushed it open. I don't understand what the pulling was supposed to be about. Duh, that's how I open gates. <laughs> All right, anyway. Yes, because you're totally going to open that with one arm. Can you stop now? I wish I never clicked that. Come on. Get off of there. Come on. You're done. Come on. All right. You ready? Okay. Let's continue. We'll go down here. flashlight uh no uh no that's what the, that's what the british call it uh, a flashlight mate they call it a torch that's uh i know it sounds a little bit weird when we say it but in england right they call them a torch not a flashlight um that's not you know it's not a flashlight in england it's called a torch It's a good thing he remembered this flashback where he doesn't have that hook to open it. 
I'm glad he remembered that because that was important. <laughs> uh, all right. So the, we already know we've already been over here. We know there's no hook here. Why are you making us go over here anyway? Oh, look, no hook. What a surprise. How amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm very confused right now. Oh, wait. I can access his inventory. That's right. What? Sir, leave the dolls alone. It's not time to play with dolls. What the hell? Okay. Okay, if you if you think that's going to work, just shove your doll's head into that crevice. That's fine. Yes, we'll 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 pretend that this is an actual thing that would work for science sake. This extruding bone as a breaker bar. Oh my god! Oh my god! That would have been so funny if instead of using the doll, he just used the protruding bone from his arm to open that. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> I would have paid this. I would have paid good money to see that. <laughs> Okay, he can barely lift mul uh, easy, easy things, and yet he's able to do this? It seems he's not as weak as he claims to be. Alright. Come on, you can do it. We don't have faith in you.
How do you not remember these things until you have a flashback way later on in life? It's like, I'm pretty sure I would remember if I was a kid and I shot some guy in the head. I'm pretty sure I'd remember that. Just saying, you know, just putting that out there. Soon this place will be full of radiation. Could be anything. As long as I'm here, I'll look after you. Nothing can hurt us now. Yes, Mom. I love you, John. I need the coat. Ah, the old on the combination thing. This has never been done in any other game before. Oh, heavens no. So basically what we need to do here is look for the most blood to least blood. So in this case, three, seven, eight, and then enter. E enter. E enter. Oh, no, six. I don't even see the six there. Okay, it's three, seven, eight, six. That's got to be the combination. And we're in. What a surprise. Okay. Six. Yes, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that before you said it, Stu. <laughs> Delayed response. Um, keep on watching. The story will explain itself. I'm not going to say anything. Why did this bald asshole kill everyone? He didn't. Keep watching. He has nothing to do with this. Just keep watching. You'll find out. All will be revealed.
I bet at senior Spankums did it. I totally agree. Senior Spankums is the reason every single person in this bunker is dead. We need to arrest that man as soon as possible before he causes any more destruction. It turns out the boy had consumed one of the fuel rods and was irradiating everyone the entire time. Likely he shoved it up his ass. No, he's saying stop, but they they uh, increased the um, the speed. How did all the other other bodies get down here? Uh, that's where they were disposing of all the bodies that died in the bunker. They were putting them in this like this room of death. In this room of death, kitties. Anyway, um, you know, I would have as an actor, I would have hated to. Uh, to be in confined spaces like that. I don't care how much you're paying me. I am not going to go crawling through a fucking vent for your movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I draw the line at that. <laughs> When you reach level five, find the ventilation hatch. Look for the hot pipe, but make sure it's the one with the warning label, John. Then open the top, but be careful. And you run back to me as fast as you can. As fast as you can, John, promise me. I promise. You've got this. You understand. You'll remember. Good boy. Be careful. 
Why did he even go back to this bunker? He didn't. Uh, he's been living in it his entire life since he was a little boy. He's the only one left alive, and he is so pussy whipped by, uh, I hate to say it, by his mother uh, that so the mom he. Them? Yes. Yes, because she found out that uh, the bald guy was lying, that there was no. No. There was no reason for them to be in the bunker. And so. She decided to kill everyone, I guess. That's what I take from it, anyway. Um, it's weird. Um, but it, she also taught him, the son, to never leave the bunker no matter what. And so he's been living down there his entire life. And he's kind of messed up because of it. He's kind of not all there and, uh, and doesn't know how to fend for himself. He's kind of stupid. Uh, so... Because he was, he was, he's, he was sheltered. Um, <laughs> it's, I mean, it sounds logical for an FMV game. <laughs> Whether it's logical for real life or not is another story. Should show up and make him an offer. Yeah, no. Stoff can stoff it right up his ass, okay? No. <laughs> this 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 FMV game is bad enough without bringing that fucking mansion into it. Marie can help him. Find the hot pipe. Put it on the hot pipe. In the place to find the hot one. Put it on the hot pipe. That's it. Poison everybody. That's right. Put it on the hot pipe. Do what mother says. Mom's piss sure is noxious. <laughs> Could you imagine being that angry that you gas everybody just so you can survive? Come on. Come on. I don't know. The, the the red one. Let's pick the red one. Is it the red one? I don't fucking know. How am I supposed to know? 
How did I mess up earlier? I thought you never played this game before, Mr. Mess Up Earlier. You should have let him fall down the shaft. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he did technically fall down the shaft the first time. Yeah, wrong game. Wrong game, though I appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate the commentary. wasn't fast enough. Wait, where did it put me? Oh, for fuck's sakes, are you kidding me? Uh, um. So, at the ending of this, once we get up to the stairs, is the exit of the bunker. We have two choices. We can either leave the bunker, or we can stay in the bunker. I don't know who would want to stay in the bunker after all the shit we just went through. Why even make that an option? Why? Who is going to pick stay in the bunker after all the shit we just saw? What masochist <laughs> is, is going to be like, oh yeah, seems, seems like a good idea. to go to this bunker. If someone told me where this bunker was, I would be pissed. <laughs> 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 
Come on. Keep moving. You got this, my hobbitses. You got this. Go to the John on her. Fourteen months. Now that's it. Margaret, where's the Lindale Day? That top left. You never let up for Mrs. Harrison. How long before it's safe to go back up? Twenty to thirty years. Do we have enough food? We have to rush. She tested it on one of them. Yeah, she's a psycho, man. Like, I, I okay. The, here's my problem. So all along, you th you th you think that it's the, the bald guy, and then you're 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 then you're then you learn that it's his mother who's been doing all this bullshit, and then at the ending they give you an option to stay in the bunker with his rotting corpse of a mother. Who is going to choose that after see after what you see after what you see at the very end when you learn that his mother was controlling him the entire time and poisoning everybody in the bunker? Why would you why would you pick the option to stay? I, she's dead. Everybody's dead. Nobody's alive in the bunker. It's just all rotting corpses. And at the beginning of the game, he's like literally reading stories to his mother's corpse. Rotting corpse. His mother's rotting corpse. He's reading her Treasure Island. That's how fucked up of a child he is. How did she die, though? At old age. I think. Or or possibly radiation exposure. I'm trying to tell you guys that women are nothing but trouble. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyway, my problem is why would you give the sound like me, dude? Why would you give the option? Why would you give the option at the ending of everything you just saw? Why would you give the option to either leave, which is obviously the correct choice, or to stay? After all you just witnessed, who is going to pick stay? If I, I mean, if there's an achievement for it, yeah, I can see it, but I mean. Aside from that, after everything you witnessed, you're going to be like, oh, I want to stay with my mom's rotten corpse. <laughs> to give the player a choice, or else it's not a game. Like Mass Effect 3.
Oh, what a surprise! There is no nuclear bullshit! What a surprise! What? We've been lied to the entire time and we're living in a bunker for no reason? Oh! Oh my god, how amazing! I never... I never would have thought! What would be cool? If outside the bunker he was in the North Pole and he just froze to death. Yeah, or something. Anyway, not a terribly long game, but I like the acting in it. I'm gonna skip past the, uh, that. Um, so, that was the bunker. And if any lesson was to be learned from this game, it's to never listen to your mother. Always do the opposite of what she says. <laughs> That's the moral of the game. Screw your mother. Do the opposite. I appreciate it. You were the one who entered my stream. Smart enough to freeze. You were, yeah, probably he, he probably isn't smart enough to freeze. Stu, you were the one who entered my stream. I did not force you to enter my stream. I did not say, Stu, come into my stream or else. That's it. As so. Grotto says, Screw your mother. Exactly. That is the moral of the game. Screw whatever your mother tells you to say. Do the opposite. Because, uh, because this game, <laughs> that's the, that's the only reason <laughs> this game tells you to disobey your mother. All right. So that was the bunker. Uh, I'm playing it on the PS5. It is a PS4 game. It's made by Wales Interactive. I enjoyed it. I don't know about you guys, but I did enjoy it. At the end of the day, the acting was not bad. Um, Please do so I can ban Grotto. <laughs> it's my own it's my own stream <laughs> all right anyway uh he he can't mod you anyway uh, i have to do it and i'm definitely not modding you after i heard that <laughs> all right so that's the uh the bunker uh as i said uh it's a really good acted game uh the story is kind of bleh but uh it's it's a, it's an interesting FMV game. I like that there's more interactivity than other Wales interactive games where it's mainly just picking things to say. That's that's not FMV to me. That's just picking things to say. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Let me just get on that. <laughs> just, that's not happening. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Sir Spankum, Jesus Christ. All right. Um, so, yeah, I will put a link to the actual bunker that this was filmed in in the description of the game. Uh, it is a museum, I believe, in the UK somewhere. I don't know the exact location, but uh, it's in the UK somewhere. Uh, so that narrows it down. <laughs> huge asses and ban on huge asses and ban huge. <sighs> Hugh Jass isn't banned on my channel. I never banned him. He was actually in my stream just a couple of days ago. I, he's not banned on my channel. He, he pops in occasionally. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, if you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. I cover PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, and VR games. If any of that interests you, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you to... Uh, Sir Spagums for his always color commentary during all of this. We need to actually make a commentary track. Specifically, we need to... Uh, he's not banned. Oh, on yours. I don't fucking care. That's your channel. Who am, why am I... He hasn't caused me problems here. That's why I... That's why I didn't ban him here. He literally just came here to bitch about you. And I'm like... I, I, I don't, this is, I'm streaming a game. I'm not, I'm not here to bitch about anybody. Anyway, that's your choice if you want. I know that other people on your channel, though, wanted him banned. You cannot deny that. I wasn't the only one. I was just annoyed with his constant trolling because he was constantly trolling. Anyway, uh, thanks for interrupting. Um, <laughs> Anyway, thank you to Hugh Jass for his always color commentary, and thank you to Stu from Stu's Game Reviews. If you like classic gaming, please check out Stu's Game Reviews. He covers a lot of good games and a lot of shitty ones. <coughs> 11th hour! <coughs> Excuse me. 
Misty lets me say the N word all the time. I. Lol. Keep... He thanked you, Jazz. Did I? No, I didn't. Did I? I. Th did I thank Hugh Jazz? I meant to say Sir Spankums. Shit. Well, I'm not thanking Hugh Jazz. <laughs> okay. I I meant to say Sir Spankums, yes. Thank you to Sir Spankums for the always color commentary. I enjoy his humor. It's always greatly appreciated. Less so Hugh Jazz. But Hugh Jazz has not been a, it's a, has not been a big problem with me. Um, anyway. Uh, if you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think that's... I already covered that. Um, over on my YouTube channel, you'll find a playlist section for any of the previous games I have live streamed. If you go over to my playlist section, just search for the game that you missed a live stream on by category of game title. And you'll find the previous live streams in there. You'll also find a joint collaboration section. This is where I've worked with other YouTubers, such as Stu from Stu's Game Reviews and Olav Productions. As a matter of fact, last night I did another uh, uh, podcast with Olav Productions. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I will. Okay, fine. Thank you, Hugh Jess, wherever you are. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Anyway... Um, so that's it for the bunker. I'm going to be streaming something else in a couple of hours. I just probably need to get something to eat because food's a thing, at least in real life, maybe not in the bunker. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll be back in about an hour's time for some more of Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation 5, the next gen upgrade. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. I'm probably going to be joining Stu's stream if he does stream today. Uh, and that's about it. So, once again, I thank you. Dead bunker mom. I'm not thanking the dead bunker mom. <laughs> she can remain dead and in the bunker. She doesn't deserve my thanks. She's a horrible individual. She poisoned everybody. All because she was angry that there wasn't a cold war outside. At least I think that's the reason. That seems like the reason. She was angry at the bald guy and decided to gas everybody as a result. Because PMS is a thing. I'm probably going to get banned for saying that. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's that's it for uh, this live stream. Tune in uh, in an hour or two's time for some more of Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation 5. Uh, again, if you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. And uh, ring the notification bell so you will know sometimes, possibly, by YouTube if I'm live streaming. I don't care. I don't care. I'm still. I'm still. <sighs> Sir Spankums, I really want to toss you into this bunker right now. I really do. <laughs> Just saying. You can live with that dead mother. <laughs> All right, thank you once again, everybody, for joining and uh, for watching and watching after the fact. Again, like and subscribe if you if you like what you see and ring the notification bell and YouTube may occasionally notify you, possibly, po probably not, uh, if I'm live streaming a game. Most of the time they don't. We, we all know that. I mean, I'm subscribed to so many YouTubers and I rarely get notifications. Thank you, YouTube, wherever you are. Alrighty, and that's it for me. Thank you once again, and I will see you guys soon at the Gamer's Grotto. Thanks again, and have a wonderful evening. People. That's TOS. Who am I threatening? <laughs> I'm threatening people? <laughs> oh, I threatened you, yeah, to go into the bunker with the mother. Yes. Yes, totally. Alrighty, thank you very much, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and have a wonderful evening.